Welcome back today, we dive deep into the extraordinary life of one of basketball's greatest legends, Larry Bird. Known for his unmatched skills on the court, Bird has also built an impressive lifestyle that reflects his success off the hardwood. From his breathtaking mansion filled with priceless memorabilia to the sleek cars that epitomize his success, well uncover every facet of Larry Bird's life today. Join us as we explore how this Hoosier hero transitioned from NBA superstar to a lifestyle of luxury, all while maintaining the down-to-earth charm that made him a beloved figure in sports history. So grab your popcorn and let's get started. As of 2024, Larry Bird, the legendary basketball player and coach, boasts an impressive net worth estimated at around $75 million. This figure not only reflects his monumental career in the NBA, but also showcases his successful transitions into business and coaching. Bird's wealth is a testament to his hard work, strategic thinking, and enduring legacy in the world of sports. He is the only person in NBA history to be named Rookie of the Year, Most Valuable Player, Finals MVP, All-Star MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. Bird's journey began when he was drafted by the Boston Celtics in 1978. Over his 13-year career, he became a cornerstone of the franchise, leading the team to three NBA championships, 1981, 1984, and 1986, and earning numerous accolades, including three NBA Most Valuable Player Awards. Bird's net worth is a reflection of more than just his earnings from basketball, it encompasses his lifelong dedication to the sport, his sharp business acumen, and his ability to adapt in a constantly evolving industry. His financial achievements are matched by the respect he commands within the sports community, as both a player and a leader. Larry Bird is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Born on December 7, 1956 in West Baden Springs, Indiana, Bird grew up in a small town, where he developed a love for basketball at an early age. His journey to the top of the basketball world is a story of talent, hard work, and determination. Bird's basketball career began in high school, where he quickly made a name for himself. He attended Springs Valley High School, where he led his team to a successful season and caught the attention of college scouts. After graduating, Bird went on to play college basketball at Indiana State University. There, he continued to shine, leading his team to the NCAA championship game in 1979. Although they lost to Michigan State, Bird's performance earned him national recognition and set the stage for his professional career. In 1978, Bird was selected by the Boston Celtics with the sixth overall pick in the NBA draft. His arrival in the NBA marked the beginning of a new era for the Celtics. Bird's unique combination of skills, including his shooting, passing, and basketball IQ quickly made him a fan favorite. In his rookie season, he averaged 21.3 points, 10.4 rebounds, and 4.5 assists per game, earning him the NBA Rookie of the Year award. Over the next decade, Bird became a dominant force in the league. He played for the Celtics from 1979 to 1992 and was instrumental in leading the team to three NBA championships in 1981, 1984, and 1986. He was known for his fierce competitiveness, clutch shooting, and ability to perform under pressure. Bird's rivalry with Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers defined the NBA during the 1980s. Their matchups in the NBA Finals were legendary, captivating basketball fans across the country. The rivalry not only elevated their careers, but also helped boost the popularity of the league as a whole. In addition to his NBA success, Bird represented the United States in international competitions. He played on the 1992 Olympic Dream Team, which is often considered one of the greatest basketball teams ever assembled. The team dominated the competition and won the gold medal in Barcelona, further solidifying Bird's legacy as one of the sport's all-time greats. After retiring as a player in 1992, Bird transitioned into coaching and management. He became the head coach of the Indiana Pacers in 1997 and led the team to the NBA Finals in 2000. Under his leadership, 
the Pacers became a competitive force in the league. Bird later served as the team's president of basketball operations, where he continued to make significant contributions to the franchise. Throughout his career, Larry Bird was not only known for his basketball skills, but also for his sportsmanship and dedication to the game. He was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1998, a fitting recognition of his impact on the sport. With his huge net worth and achievements at a young age, are you curious about the mansion he owns? Let's explore it right now, so don't go anywhere. Mansion in Indianapolis. This exquisite home, custom-built in 2002, reflects not only Bird's success as a Hall of Famer, but also his personal journey from humble beginnings to a life of luxury alongside his wife, Dinah. Recalling his childhood, Bird once told the Wall Street Journal, I never thought I'd have a house like this. Growing up in a small town in Indiana with five siblings, Bird often slept on the porch or wherever they could find space. His modest upbringing starkly contrasts the opulence of his current residence, showcasing the remarkable transformation in his life through hard work and dedication to basketball. Bird's mansion is a testament to his achievements and taste. Spanning an impressive 10,000 square feet, the home features five spacious bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms, providing ample room for family and guests. Nestled on 1.5 acres of land, the property is designed for both comfort and entertainment. Bird mentioned, I don't really have a favorite room, indicating that he appreciates the entire space, rather than singling out any particular area. He cherishes the fresh air and enjoys spending time outdoors, which is easy to do given the property's extensive outdoor amenities. The estate boasts a plethora of entertainment options, ensuring that guests are always entertained. For those who love movies, the home features a state-of-the-art home theater, perfect for enjoying cinematic experiences in the comfort of one's own residence. If a friendly game of pool is more your style, the billiards room provides the ideal setting for fun and competition. Wine enthusiasts will appreciate the well-appointed wine cellar, while the pub offers a cozy spot to unwind with friends. Fitness is also a priority for Bird, as evidenced by the presence of a fully equipped gym on the property. Staying active is important, and the gym provides a private space to maintain a healthy lifestyle. For outdoor activities, the estate includes a tennis court, perfect for enjoying a match on warm summer days, and a beautiful pool surrounded by a terrace, ideal for relaxing or hosting gatherings. Inside, the home exudes formality and elegance. The stately wood-paneled interior adds a touch of classic sophistication, while the meticulously maintained gardens create a serene and picturesque environment. Every corner of the mansion is a reflection of Bird's appreciation for beauty and comfort. It's a shame that basketball legend Larry Bird has listed this stunning Tudor-style mansion for sale for $2.35 million. Bird's decision to sell this stunning estate marks a pivotal moment in his life. It not only represents a transition, but also the culmination of years of hard work and determination. As one of the greatest basketball players of all time, Bird's journey from small-town kid to multi-millionaire athlete is an inspiring story that fans and aspiring players can relate to. In addition to the multi-million dollar mansion, we can't forget Larry Bird's collection of classic cars. Leave a comment if you're curious about his cars too. Car Collection When exploring the car collection of basketball legend Larry Bird, we cannot help but mention four classic cars that he especially loves. Each car has its own story and appeal, reflecting Bird's aesthetic taste and passion for classic cars. First, we would like to mention the Mazda MX-5, also known as the Miata, which is one of the lightest and most agile sports cars on the market. With a compact design and sporty style, the MX-5 weighs only about 1,000 kilos. The 2.0L four-cylinder engine produces up to 181 horsepower, allowing the car to accelerate from aero 100 km/h in just six seconds. The rear-wheel drive system and excellent balance make the MX-5 an ideal car for those who love the feeling of driving. Second place goes to the 1955 Chevrolet, 
an icon of classic American cars. Equipped with a 4.3L V8 engine, this car has a capacity of about 162 horsepower. Its exterior design stands out with strong lines and a sporty style. The interior is meticulously cared for with leather seats and luxurious chrome details, bringing a luxurious feeling to the driver and passengers. The 1955 Chevrolet is not only a car, but also an indispensable part of the history of American automobiles. Next is the 1950 Chevrolet, which stands out with its classic appearance and elegant style. Equipped with a 3.5L six-cylinder engine, this car produces about 105 horsepower. Its interior offers comfort with spacious space and cloth seats. The 1950 Chevrolet is loved by many for its simplicity and comfort, bringing a feeling of returning to the old days. This is an iconic car, symbolizing the golden age of the automobile industry. The final spot on our favorites list is the Chevrolet Bel Air, especially the mid-1950s models, which are among the most iconic American cars. The car is powered by a 4.6L V8 engine, producing around 162 horsepower, along with sleek styling and retro charm. The interior of the Bel Air is beautifully designed with chrome details and high-quality leather upholstery, giving it a luxurious and elegant feel. The Bel Air is not just a car, but also a symbol of the lifestyle and luxury of the 1950s. Which of the four cars is your favorite? Leave a comment below. Philanthropy. Larry Bird is not just a basketball legend, he is also a man with a big heart. Throughout his life, Bird has shown a strong commitment to charity and giving back to the community. His philanthropic efforts reflect his desire to make a positive impact on the lives of others, particularly in his home state of Indiana. Bird's journey into charity began after he achieved great success in the NBA. He understood the privilege that came with his fame and fortune and wanted to use it to help those in need. One of the most notable aspects of Bird's charitable work is his focus on youth programs. He believes in the power of education and sports to transform lives. Bird has been involved in numerous initiatives aimed at supporting young people, especially in underprivileged areas. One of Bird's significant contributions is through the Larry Bird Foundation, which he established to support various charitable causes. This foundation primarily focuses on education, health, and sports programs for children. Bird often collaborates with local schools and organizations to provide resources and opportunities for young athletes. His foundation has helped fund scholarships, sports camps, and mentorship programs, encouraging kids to pursue their dreams both on and off the court. In addition to his foundation, Bird has been actively involved in fundraising events. He frequently participates in charity basketball games, where the proceeds go to local charities and youth organizations. These events not only raise money, but also inspire young athletes by allowing them to meet their hero. Bird's presence at these events serves as a reminder that success is achievable with hard work and determination. Bird's charitable efforts extend beyond Indiana. He has also supported national organizations including those focused on health and wellness. For example, he has contributed to initiatives aimed at combating childhood obesity and promoting physical fitness among young people. Bird understands the importance of a healthy lifestyle, and he wants to inspire the next generation to prioritize their health. Another noteworthy aspect of Bird's charity work is his involvement in cancer awareness initiatives. After losing friends and family members to cancer, Bird became an advocate for cancer research and support. He has participated in various campaigns to raise awareness about the disease and has contributed to organizations dedicated to finding a cure. Bird's humility and dedication to giving back are truly admirable. He often speaks about how important it is to help others, stating that he feels a responsibility to use his platform for good. Bird's genuine desire to make a difference in people's lives has left a lasting impact on many individuals and communities. Awards and honors. Larry Bird, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, has a remarkable list of awards and honors that reflect his incredible talent and contributions to the sport. Throughout his career in the NBA, Bird not only showcased his skills on the court, 
but also earned respect and admiration for his competitiveness and leadership. Here's a look at some of the most significant awards and honors that have marked Bird's illustrious career. Larry Bird played his entire professional career with the Boston Celtics from 1979 to 1992. During this time, he led the team to three NBA championships in 1981, 1984, and 1986. His ability to perform under pressure was key to the Celtics' success during this era. In recognition of his outstanding performance, Bird won the NBA Most Valuable Player MVP Award three consecutive times, from 1984 to 1986. He became the first player in NBA history to achieve this feat, highlighting his dominance in the league during those years. Bird was selected to participate in the NBA All-Star Game 12 times, from 1980 to 1988, and again in 1992. This honor is given to the best players in the league, and Bird's consistent selection demonstrates his status as one of the elite players of his time. He was also named the NBA All-Star Game MVP twice in 1982 and 1983, showcasing his ability to shine during the biggest moments. Bird was recognized for his exceptional skills not only on offense, but also on defense. He earned All-NBA First Team honors nine times, 1980 and was named to the All-NBA Second Team once 1979. These selections reflect his versatility and all-around game, which allowed him to impact the game in multiple ways. Additionally, Bird was named to the NBA All-Defensive Second Team three times 1982, 1983, and 1984, underscoring his commitment to both ends of the court. His defensive prowess, combined with his offensive skills, made him a complete player. Bird's achievements extend beyond the NBA. He was a key member of the original Dream Team that represented the United States at the 1992 Summer Olympics in Barcelona. This team, which included basketball legends like Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson, won the gold medal, dominating the competition. Bird's leadership and experience were invaluable to the team's success, further cementing his legacy in the sport. In 1998, Larry Bird was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, an honor reserved for the greatest players, coaches, and contributors to the sport. This recognition was a culmination of his impressive career and a testament to his impact on basketball. In 2021, Bird was named to the NBA's 75th anniversary team, celebrating the league's greatest players throughout its history. This honor further solidified his status as one of the all-time greats and recognized his lasting influence on the game of basketball. Larry Bird's awards and honors are a testament to his extraordinary talent and contributions to the sport of basketball. With three NBA championships, three MVP awards, 12 All-Star selections, and a Hall of Fame induction, Bird's legacy is well-established. His ability to excel on both offense and defense, combined with his leadership and competitive spirit, has left an indelible mark on the game. As fans continue to celebrate his achievements, Bird remains a symbol of excellence in the world of basketball. In popular culture, Bird has graced the silver screen in three notable films, each time playing himself, which speaks to his fame and relatability. His first film was Blue Chips, released in 1994, where he starred alongside Nick Nolte. In this sports drama, Bird portrayed a former basketball star and mentor, highlighting the challenges faced by college basketball programs. The film resonated with fans as it showcased Bird's authentic persona and passion for the game. In 1996, Bird appeared in the Warner Brothers. Classic Space Jam, which paired him with basketball legend Michael Jordan and comedy star Bill Murray. This family-friendly film blended live action and animation, featuring the Looney Tunes characters in a high-stakes basketball game against alien invaders. Bird's role added a layer of credibility to the film, as he represented one of the greatest players in basketball history. Space Jam became a cultural phenomenon, introducing a new generation to Bird's legacy while simultaneously entertaining audiences of all ages. 
Also released in 1996 was Celtic Pride, a comedy that starred Bird, alongside Dan Aykroyd, Daniel Stern, and Damon Wayans. In this film, Bird's presence added humor and authenticity to the plot, which revolved around two fans who kidnap an opposing player to ensure their team's victory. Bird's ability to engage with the film's humor further endeared him to fans and showcased his versatility beyond basketball. Bird's impact extends into the realm of video games, where his likeness and persona have been featured in several popular titles. One of the earliest games was One-on-One -on -One Doctor, J vs. Larry Bird, which allowed players to engage in a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Bird and the legendary Julius Irving. This game was a favorite among basketball fans, as it gave players the chance to experience the competitive spirit of two of the greatest players in NBA history. Following the success of the first game, Bird starred in a sequel titled Jordan vs. Bird One on One, released in 1988. This game showcased a head-to-head -head competition between Bird and another basketball icon, Michael Jordan. The gameplay emphasized skill and strategy, mirroring the intense rivalry and respect shared between these two legends. Bird's presence in video games reached a new height in 2011 when he was featured on the cover of NBA 2K12 alongside Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. The NBA 2K series is known for its realistic gameplay and in-depth simulation of the NBA. And Bird's inclusion on the cover highlighted his enduring status as a basketball icon. The game allowed fans to play as Bird, experiencing firsthand the skills that made him a legend. Bird also made a comeback in the revamped version of NBA Jam, where he was a playable character. This classic arcade-style basketball game became known for its fast-paced action and over-the-top gameplay, allowing players to relive Bird's incredible shooting and passing skills in an entertaining format. One of Bird's most iconic appearances was in a McDonald's commercial that first aired during the Super Bowl in 1991. In this memorable ad, Bird faced off against fellow basketball superstar Michael Jordan in a friendly yet competitive trick shot contest. The stakes were simple but humorous. The winner would enjoy Jordan's lunch, while the loser would have to watch the victor eat. The commercial became a fan favorite, not just for the incredible shots, but also for the humorous dynamic between Bird and Jordan. Their chemistry brought a sense of fun and excitement, making it a standout moment during one of the biggest sporting events of the year. The ad perfectly captured the essence of both players. Bird's dry humor and competitive edge paired with Jordan's charisma. Fast forward to Super Bowl X Live, and McDonald's brought back the trick shot concept with another pair of NBA stars, Dwight Howard and LeBron James. In this commercial, after an intense round of trick shots, Bird made a surprise cameo. As Howard and James celebrated their efforts, the camera panned to reveal Bird in the crowd applauding their performance. He cheekily remarked, Great show, guys. Thanks for lunch. The confusion on Howard and James' faces added a humorous twist, highlighting Bird's enduring presence and legacy in the world of basketball. This clever callback to the original commercial not only honored Bird, but also connected the past and present of the NBA in a fun and engaging way. Bird's impact was also acknowledged in the digital world. Until July 2023, Twitter's logo was humorously named Larry in honor of Bird. This quirky nod to the basketball legend showcased how deeply ingrained he is in popular culture. Even in a modern context, where social media plays a significant role in daily life, the choice of naming the logo after Bird reflects the respect and admiration that people have for him, as well as his ongoing influence across different generations. Larry Bird's legacy continues to be celebrated in various forms of media. In the HBO series Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, Bird is portrayed by actor Sean Patrick Small. The show focuses on the fierce rivalry between the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers during the 1980s, a period when Bird was at the peak of his career. Small's portrayal captures Bird's competitive spirit and unique personality, allowing a new generation of viewers to appreciate the impact Bird had on basketball history. Personal Life
After retiring from basketball, Bird didn't step away from the sport completely. Instead, he transitioned into various business roles within the basketball world. He began working as a coach and then took on a leadership position with the Indiana Pacers as the team's president of basketball operations. Under his guidance, the Pacers made significant strides, competing at a high level and even reaching the NBA Finals in 2000. Bird's knowledge of the game combined with his competitive spirit made him an asset to the organization. Beyond basketball, Bird has also been involved in other business ventures. He has endorsed several products and brands, including sports drinks and athletic gear. His name and reputation as a basketball legend have allowed him to partner with companies that align with his values and interests. Bird has demonstrated a keen understanding of business, making strategic choices that have contributed to his financial success. Despite his busy schedule and responsibilities, Bird has always made time for his family, especially his marriage to Dinah Mattingly. The couple married in 1989, and their partnership has been a stronghold throughout Bird's career transitions. Dinah has been more than just a supportive spouse. She has played an essential role in Bird's life. Her presence has provided him with stability and encouragement as he navigated the challenges of both sports and business. Bird often credits Dinah for keeping him grounded. They share a deep bond that is evident in how they interact. Even with his fame, Bird values their private moments together, whether it's enjoying a quiet evening at home or spending time with their two adopted children, Connor and Mariah. Their family life is filled with love, and Bird emphasizes the importance of being present for his family amid his busy career. Together, Bird and Dinah have also engaged in philanthropy, focusing on youth programs and education. They believe in giving back to the community, and their joint efforts have helped many young people in Indiana. This shared commitment to helping others has strengthened their marriage and allowed them to work as a team in their personal and professional lives. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video. We hope you enjoyed exploring the incredible life and legacy of this basketball legend with us. If you found this content interesting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest videos featuring more fascinating stories and insights from the world of sports and entertainment. We appreciate your support, and we can't wait to bring you more amazing content. See you in the next video.